I know Jane by Ocean Wheel and they're great full forward here in, in the Parky win here. Clare just after beating Cork in, in the Munster semi final. You're true to the Munster final, Ocean. Uh, you had a, a personal telly, I think, of 1 7. A terrific contribution and in, in, in a great match. Congratulations. Yes, thanks. It's, it's over the moon with that. We knew from last year we played with like 40 points, you know, hammering. We said yeah. we'd come out today and we'd forget about that and we played with that bit of edge, you know, is that bit of chip on our shoulder and we just we're into them from the get go. Like, probably uh, level, I think, only in a half time, but we said yeah. we'd, go and we'd blow them out of it in the first 10 minutes and there we go, we got 1 3, I think, without reply. And, yeah. Um, they brought it back to 2, I think, in the end and then we just, had to, we just went back to field and threw our bodies at everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fair road work done when you came out in the first half and you get up to six points and somehow they clawed it back. They got a goal. Let's see, there was a question was it in the square, but that doesn't matter now anyway. But they got that goal and they got back into the game. So at half time, like being up there in the stand, we were feeling very nervous, like how would you react to this? You came out and I think you got five points up almost within five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably there was a bit of nerves going in half time whether they'd have the experience there from last year that they'd be able to pick it up in the second half, but we just uh, we weren't we were leaving everything out there, and it could have been our last half together. So we just threw our bodies at everything for the last thirty minutes there in the second half. Yeah. As well as you know, there was great individual displays, but you really hounded in Harold Cork. You didn't let him settle. They were unsettled right from the beginning because you, I think he took a little little note from the senior team last Sunday. Said so hard work is going to is, is going to get you the the, the honours. Yeah. Um, yeah. We our motto all year has been. Turn over ball like as for the seniors turning over ball yeah. getting in their faces all the time like and um, we don't let anything out easy you know we just throw our bodies at everything and everything we don't leave anything out in the field and probably the seniors giving us a big boost the last two weeks like and yeah safe saying out Claire Hurling's probably in the safe place at the moment like it's, it's, it's in a great place at the moment yeah. absolutely uh, tell me a bit about the goal you got uh, I don't know I know it kind of fell for me I think the ball was broke in or whatever and I was just on the break picked it up and it was hard as I could into the bottom corner. Like <laughs> I don't think it was quite that simple, but it was a cra- yeah, crack, was a crack, a crack and goal, and yeah. it was really, it really was. And yeah. and then Keen Neal and came up with Man, another fantastic yeah, goal. goal. Yeah, and that really rocked Cork. Both of those goals yeah, rocked yeah, them back. Yeah, they were a bit watery you know, yeah. at times there, and we stuck into them. Like they probably didn't expect it. They probably yeah. went in at half time, probably shell shocked. Probably didn't think that we'd be this yeah. aggressive like in the uh, first half. Yeah, I think they showed, maybe, well, maybe not, but maybe a little bit of arrogance that they thought after last year like yeah. as well and that they were going to, but you, you had your game plan and the lads had you primed. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. Man, great. Like, yeah, yeah. Brian, you know, they've been through everything as players and managers like and yeah. just have every last, we get every last thing off and like, it's just amazing. Yeah. Like, We'd be very confident now going in against Tipperary in the Munster final. Uh, I think, you know, as you said, the first day we, we weren't really uh, as ready for him. We needed that game. And now yeah. we're just a totally different team to, than the first day you went out. I suppose. Always, yeah. Um, first day probably we were all a bit nervous and shaky. Didn't know what to expect, like, but yeah. probably playing Watford and Kerry and leaving her all out in the field them days and beating these Cork, like, it's just gives us great confidence going into the final now, like. Yeah. We you, lose it all, like we're in a all Ireland quarter. So yeah, you had difficult frees there to 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 to, to, to take, and you and, and you scored them. Uh, do you practice a lot? Do you get up early in the morning before you go to say, go to school or whatever? Uh, no, I would probably I hit them there three or four evenings a week, like. But I put myself in the hardest scenario possible, like that. Yeah. You know, and probably just all comes off in the game. Then you know, had a bit of momentum and be confident over them, like that's what I always say to myself. And look, yeah. Just sail over them. Well, that's why when you have the risks and the ability and everything gets the, 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 the risk just comes naturally. Uh, it's a great evening for Clare people down here. Come down to Parky Cave, we were coming down, you know, we didn't know, and especially after last year, and up there in the stand, just to see the way you hurled and to beat, to beat Cork in their own home patch. Like, yeah. It's a fantastic achievement. Uh, uh, you yeah, know. Like, probably, everyone was probably touch and go whether they come down this evening or the Tuesday evening, like late yeah. 7 o'clock, but yeah. probably people thought, oh, I don't know, I don't think Claire will be able, but you know, people stuck with us and came down and even when we got that goal there in the first half, you could hear the roar, you could, it, yeah. was, it was matchy yeah. matchy with the Claire and Cork supporters, like, so, yeah. like the supporters stuck with us the last final 15 minutes there, like, we yeah. really knew that. Well, the roars back as they say now. <laughs> well, in fairness to the Cork supporters, no, you didn't give them much. You didn't leave them much to shout about. No, so. we didn't. No. But there was a good crowd down, ah, and, and, and there's great guys up there. Like yeah. they're fully clear all over. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's what and that's what we want now going forward. Yeah.
Uh, and, and, and you know, it's, it's great to be in the place where we are at senior in the minor ah, is, going right. so well. The that's under right. 20s were so unlucky as well. They could have been there, but, but they, they, it's a great team coming as well. So Hurling is really, really on the upward curve now in Clare. It is, yeah, it's in a great place. Um, probably thought when we came down here and we were just going to prove Cork and say Clare Hurling's in a safe place again. Like, yeah. probably wrote us off from last year, but um, safe to say we're feeling good now. Yeah. I don't know who was men in the match, uh, Ocean. I think probably all 15 or 16 no, yeah, to play, the, Hankers, play in, on the pitch. But I do know that you scored 1 7 and a uh, mighty goal and uh, a, a great personal contribution. Congratulations, Ocean. And thanks very much as a supporter as well.